Hi everybody, this is a quick reminder or a new information video, depending on uh, what your user experience is, on HP Audio Control Panel Access. The HP Audio Control on your HP laptop is the one-stop location for changing and customizing your microphone and speaker settings on your computer. So you can access some of these settings in various apps like Screencastify where you can pick your microphone or your uh, your volume control where you can select the speakers that you'd like to use. You can also do this in Zoom uh, right in the uh, audio area, the microphone area once you're inside a Zoom meeting. But the HP audio control panel is where you can customize which microphone and speakers you'd like to use for the teaching situation that's gonna work best for you. So two ways to access it. First thing is you can click the little up arrow here for show hidden icons. And this is the audio control panel access right here. Now you may not have this if you've never used the feature before. If I click on that and then click audio control panel, it opens right in the center of the screen here. If you don't have it here in your hidden icons area, you can click either on the window or in the search magnifying glass right next to it. Uh, would be right here on your computer. I removed it from mine. But you can just click on the Windows start icon and start typing audio control and it comes up. And I click on it and there it is. Okay, so you have two categories here to customize your AV experience. Playback devices are speakers. This is your master volume right here. You can uh, raise this or lower this. I'm not gonna do it in the middle of the screencast here. Uh, and then speakers, this is your internal speakers on the computer. And headphones, this is a um, regular three and a half millimeter headphone jack set of earbuds that I have plugged into my computer right now. I could select that if I want. Um, here is the LG neckband, the Bluetooth neckband, combination microphone and earbuds. And if I scroll over to the right, I have the uh, hands-free audio, which is also the LG neckband, and the Microsoft Life Chat LX3000, which is my wired USB plug headphone and microphone set, which uh, I think provides the best audio but isn't mobile because I'm tethered to the computer. Down here in recording devices, I have again, my master mic volume. I have the internal microphone, that's the computer. I have an external microphone. Now notice that's grayed out. So I don't have one plugged in, so I can't select that. But if you have an external microphone, like a large podcasting microphone attached to your computer or sitting on the desk, desk next to your computer, you can choose that here. Here is my uh, LG Bluetooth neckband. And here is the Microsoft Life Chat uh, USB headphone microphone setup. And notice I have that selected as my default. But you just click whichever one of these that you want to use, and um, it'll change your speakers here and your recording device here. And you can tell which one you're using because it's got the highlighted check mark. Um, so, the best option for moving around your room and having students hear you perfectly no matter where you go, whether you're at your computer, at the board in the front of the room, or completely off camera to your students at home who are attending virtually, you want to use the LG Bluetooth neckband because that will, uh, you know, around your neck will go with you, obviously, wherever you go, and students will be able to hear you. I tested this out yesterday with the sixth grade team went across the hall outside the room and I could hear Jen Gresh speaking perfectly as if I was in the room with her, even though I was across and down the hall. Okay, so those are your audio options. Oh, by the way, for the LG neckband to uh, be selected, you or any of these to be selected, they have to be powered on, which in most cases is just plugged into your computer. If I would unplug the live chat headset right here, this would gray out or completely disappear. Uh, for your neck band to be selectable, you have to have it obviously powered on and connected 
to your HP laptop. And I'm going to include the setup instructions for pairing the Bluetooth headset with your laptop in case you need that. If you have any questions, let me know.